Governor Obasaki reacts after Nwike said he refused to support Aswe Iwadalo when they came to his home. Can you imagine? So the thing here is that uh, uh, Nwike has vowed not to support PDP governorship candidate in Edo State. And we know exactly what Nwike is out for because Nwike is obviously the the person supporting the PDP legacy group, Dan Obi's group, and the so-called former deputy governor of Edo State, uh, Philip Shaibu. And uh, anywhere you see Nwike is a Confucianist, quite unfortunate. He was the same Nwike that supported uh, uh, Basaki to fight uh, Oshomole against Godfatherism, helped uh, these people uh, the former governor of Lagos State to fight against Tinubu against Godfatherism. Okay, Ambody. So now he, he wants to be Godfather in River State. Now support PDP. He has been causing problem in PDP since he lost the the presidential primaries in 2023. So what are we saying now? And he's still causing confusion in PDP till now. So now he is not supporting the PDP governorship candidate in those State. He has his own reason. Because he feels uh, those people are not supporting APC and are not for him. This guy is the highest person doing anti-party in PDP. And I don't know why PDP cannot put him where he belongs. Quite unfortunate. So now Obaseki has responded to him um, after saying that he will not support uh, Iwadalo. Obaseki has told him that those people are not daft, they are not dumb. They know who to vote for. Let's get into the details. In a video recently shared by Channel TV, Governor Gordon Obasaki responded to comments made by FCT Minister Nyesun Wiki regarding the upcoming Edo governorship election. Nwiki recently stated that Obasaki and the PDP candidate Aswe Odalo in the Edo State gubernatorial election visited his house to ask for his support, but he turned them down. Nwiki also expressed regret for previously supporting Obasaki in his bid for governorship. Can you imagine? So what is your reason for, for regretting supporting Obasaki? The same way you are regretting supporting Fubara. Eh? This guy is a problem in, the, in, in PDP, I'm telling you the truth. So however, in his reply, Obasaki stated that the people of Edo State are capable of making their own decisions. He said they do not need an outsider to influence their choices. Obasaki expressed confidence in the voters, stating that they know what they want and will make their own decisions in the election. And that is how it should be. So in Obasaki's words, Edo people are not that dumb. Yes, they know who to vote for. They don't require the services of an outsider to make their decisions. Edo people will make their decisions this time because they know what they want. Exactly. Exactly. So now, Obaseki and the uh, Odalo uh, met with, uh, uh, what is his name, Wiki, and as it, Tiki is a party man, but now he's saying publicly that he will not support them, he will not support PDP in those State, he will not support the Odalo, and he's regretting supporting Obaseki in the past. What is your reason for doing that now? Because Obaseki has refused to be your boy in PDP, because that is it. Just like Sheima Kinde is your boy. Other PDP governors have refused to be your boy. And uh, Obaseki is one of those persons that have refused. I'm sure Obaseki and the, and the PDP Governors Forum Chairman, uh, Bala Mohammed, are in the same camp and are working together. And I'm sure Obaseki is a strong force in the PDP Governors Forum. And they have come together to make sure that Elia Damago, the acting PDP National Chairman, is removed because he has overstayed. He's been staying there. And he's staying there is anti-PDP constitution. So because anybody that is supporting the removal of Damago is an enemy to Nwike. Because Nwike is the person that has put Damago there. And that is why Sheima Kindo for your state out of fear decided to say he supports Damago because he's in Nwike's pocket already. Quite unfortunate. So we can see why uh, Nwike does not want to support Iwadalo or uh, Baseki or PDP in Edo State in this election because they are not supporting his own candidate, which is Damago, to remain as the national PDP chairman. Quite unfortunate and very bad. 
Mwike, anything that is not going his own way, he will rather destroy it completely. He will not, he will not let it be. Quite unfortunate for him. So, but the question is, the kind of politics that Mwike is playing, how long is he going to continue playing this kind of politics? And how long will PDP continue to tolerate him? How long will Nigeria continue to tolerate him? The only thing he needs to do now is to leave PDP and get into APC. And he doesn't want to go there because Mwike is looking at becoming Nigerian president. And I don't know how he's going to make it. He cannot go to APC now because he means that he's going to go and fight Tunubu. So he doesn't want that. He wants to remain in PDP. And he still will not contest immediately because it means that he will be contesting against Tunubu that has given him FCT ministerial role. So what does Mwike want? That is the question. What does he want? So why is he just playing the, the what do they call it, the devil's advocate in PDP all around? causing problem everywhere, rigging election for APC. Because I know that that role they gave to him is to is in preparation for 2027 to see how he will rig the election in FCT for Tunubu and then to rig the election again in River State for APC the way he did last time. But that of River State has purged him because he's obviously not going to get his way through. And the way River State is polarized right now, I'm telling you, the kind of structure that Nguike thought he would get to use to rig election 2027 is not working for him and it's not going to work for him. So, but again, not supporting anybody in Edo State does not make any difference. The people of Edo State have said that they know who to vote for. The governor has said that they know who to vote for. And they are not waiting for an outsider because Nguike is an outsider in Edo State. If you are regretting supporting Obaseki before, because you think that after supporting Obaseki, Obaseki will be in your pocket the way Shehima Kinde and other PD, some few PDP members are in your pocket. It's not working. And that is the only reason he's regretting supporting uh, where, where he's now Obaseki in the past. Okay. So, but again, uh, Muke should also know that the, he has also sabotaged the people that brought him to power. The likes of Peter Odili, the likes of... Uh, uh Rotimia Mechi and the key people, the key politicians in the state and the former PDP national national chairman that he removed because he's looking for uh, a game he will play to become the PDP national presidential flag bearer. So he has disappointed people in the past. He should let life be, live and let live. That is it. He's only just getting out of hand. And it's only a set of people in APC that are supporting him. Every normal-minded person in this country today is no longer supporting Wiki. He has outlived his glory. And right now, anything he does now, he's seen as a, as a, a how do I put him? As somebody who has a different mindset that is not in the interest of the populace. Quite unfortunate. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment as Obaseki has responded to him. A do people know who to vote for. A do people are not dumb and deaf. They are not that dumb. They know who to vote for. They don't need an outsider to tell them what to do. Those are the responses Obaseki has given him. And some other person will come and say Obaseki is saying it simply because Wiki has refused to support him. Well, so be it. But the fact is that Obaseki should not have even gone to Wiki to ask for his support. Knowing who Wiki is. Knowing what Wiki is doing with... Uh, uh, the PDP legacy group in those state, the likes of Dan Obi and his group, and Obeide uh, Hama, okay, and the likes of Philip Shaibu. So, Basaki and the Godalo will be a disappointment or have disappointed a lot of people for going to Mwike at all to ask for his support. You don't need him because you know the kind of person he is. He's an unstable human being. You can never determine his left from his right. He, did, he will talk to you today, tomorrow he will disappoint you. So, why will you go there? except you are just looking for alignment and why would you even go there when you also know that you are already working with the PDP governor's forum to remove Ilya Damago and Ilya Damago is there by Nguike's power so you know that Nguike will not like anybody including anybody supporting the PDP governor's forum to remove Damago so Obaseki should have been smarter than this frankly speaking yeah, I would say he wasn't even smart enough. He didn't need to, to go to Nguike at all. So if he did, like Nguike is saying, then that must be a disappointment on his own side. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment on that.